there's really only ever one truth. And that's now. Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. I'm working on my book, 47 Truths. Might as well call it Thousand Truths. That's the name of the band I'm in. Thousand Words, not Thousand Truths. Um, I've been working on it for over a year and thinking a lot about truth. And I keep coming back around to the same conclusion. There's really only one truth. And that is right now. Right now. The stories we tell ourselves. Um, the culmination of the experience we're having right now. The experience we're having right now is the only thing that we can really know for sure is true, right? And as we get into this new new age, AI, technology, towards singularity, all that fancy stuff, I think it is uh, relevant to ponder a little bit what we want the truth to be. Because the choices we make determine the truth we get and the stories, the words we choose to use when we're creating the stories that we use to <clears throat> determine the truth of things, truth being a human construct after all, make a difference. They matter in that they become matter. <laughs> Uh, words, thoughts become things. Words become, words become matter. Thought, the words that you use matter. So I encourage you to pay extra attention to what kind of words are coming out of you. What kind of words are you consuming in the way of entertainment and education? And what kind of words are you producing, creating, offering to the universe in the way of thoughts, in the way of, of speaking, in the way of writing, in the way of what you're evoking back from other word speakers. I, that reflection can be valuable as well. So, um, yeah, I would love to know if you have any thoughts about that. I really do think that, um, there is great power in what words we choose to use when we tell our stories and that the same story can be told with different sets of words and have a much different feeling, a much different result. And that doesn't mean lying. It just means using different words, being mindful of the power of what words point to, what words point our consciousness toward the vibration, the feeling of those words is super important. So as you're speaking if and or writing, as I do, start to notice when your words are going down a, a hard edge, a negative edge, a, a high intensity velocity, but, ne but negative edge or a blissful floating edge, or just start to notice how words feel, how they make you feel, how they seem to make other people feel. And um, that's a great place to start if you haven't already for controlling your truth, for making the future that you want to make, which is the choice that we are all getting to choose all the time. That's how I see it. I'd love to know how you see it, if you care to share. As always, there's lots of ways to connect with me and ways to support me. And lots of the links to some of those ways are in the description below. And until next time, I wish you peace and prosperity and positivity and potential and progress. Lightheartedness. Fantastic truths. Don't forget to play every day.